Hey guys, welcome to my video today. I am super excited because I am gonna be doing my whole house tour for 2020. Today it is February something, I think it's the 12th, the 11th, the 11th. And it is 80 degrees outside here in South Carolina. So I'm liking this. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt today. Um, I know you guys probably don't care about the weather, but I just thought I'd say that because I'm standing outside of my house right now. So I have shared with you guys many home tours where I share like the decor. It's more like a decor tour. Um, and we don't really ever go into the bedrooms or the bathrooms or anything like that. And so today I wanted to do a whole house tour for you guys because whatever decor I have up now is basically just my normal decor. So it's not like fall or Christmas or Easter or Valentine's Day, nothing like that. It's just the plain decor of what I have up all year round unless I'm decorating for something else. So I figured um, I would do this probably once a year unless something dramatic changes. I do have a lot of things that I want to change in this house. And so if you guys check out my video coming out on next Monday, I believe, I'll be talking about is this our forever home and what are some changes that I foresee that I want to do in the home and in all the rooms. So in this video, I'm going to try really hard not to talk about what I wish it looked like or what I wish I had or what I think that I want the room to look like, I'm just gonna share what it looks like now. And be thankful for what we have now. Also, to save my sanity today and um, my children's lives, <laughs> that's a joke, I am gonna be filming this in pieces. So normally I would have everyone be quiet or have everyone go out of the house, get the house completely cleaned and film the entire thing all in one clip or all in one time frame. But today I actually have my niece and nephew here. And so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna film room by room. I'm gonna clean the room, film it, clean the room, film it. Maybe one of these days I should be doing a home tour of what it looks like on a regular basis with like stuff strewn everywhere. But I really want you guys to see like the bones of the house or what the house actually looks like. The rooms definitely aren't spick and span or like super clean, but it's kind of like, what it looks like when we do clean up. So with that said, I'm gonna take you guys around to each room, show you guys my home and welcome in. So here is the front door. I know you guys have seen this many times. And when you walk in, I should probably have turned on some lights, but you look straight into our living room area. And then we have the stairs to go up to Jackson's room and the playroom. This is Piper's room, a coat closet, the girls' bathroom. <laughs> They're yelling in Piper's room. And then Jane's room. And then to turn back around, I'm trying really hard not to make you guys dizzy today. In here, we have our powder room or our half bath. I will turn these lights on for you. Wow, nothing much has changed in here except for the new light fixture. Um, we recently just put that up. So this is what it looks like. Pretty small and simple. This door is so loud. I'm gonna close it. So over here is Jane's room. I'm actually going to come in here and shut the door so River doesn't follow me. But this is actually the back of her door she has some letters from some of her dance teachers and stuff and then this full-length mirror and then here are all of her lol doll stickers that she's end up putting here instead of her doll house she has some things hanging here and then i'll do an overview of her room guys i think i said this in the last whole house tour but i've pretty much lost all rights to decorate this child's room as much as i try to <laughs> decorate it or change it she changes it back to how she wants it and it's kind of turning into a disaster plus her closet has had a situation so a lot of this stuff i said i wasn't going to explain what we want to fix but i will explain what usually is in the closet and her room doesn't usually look this messy but i wasn't going to wait till we fix the closet to film this video for you guys so she has her little air purifier there but here is her bookshelf. She has recently gone through and gave all the baby books to Piper and Jackson and her, you can hardly see her baby pictures 
here. And then above her closet, she has her little name and a banner. And then, um, I know I said I wasn't going to show inside closets, but this is the situation. We have to put this carpet back in. So behind here, she hasn't really been able to play, but this is her dollhouse that she does like playing with. And then she has lots of paintings and scrapbook things that she's hung up over there. And then this thing is usually in the closet. So it looks really cluttered. She has some trophies. These are all of her highlights, magazines. And then she has some Polly Pockets down there and then her jewelry and stuff. And then this is her American Girl doll closet and her American Girl doll washer and dryer. All of that is usually in the closet. So this space is usually more open. And then same with her bed. All of this stuff on the top of her bed is usually in her closet. And so it's kind of a disaster in here, but I like her little name sign. She has some new stickers on the ceiling. I don't know if you can see them at all. Glow in the dark stickers. And she has been sleeping on the bottom bunk, which she's been asking to sleep on the top bunk, but it needs to be cleaned. There's stuff all up here. So as soon as we get the closet fixed, we will fix her bed situation. But guys, look at all the stuff that she has on her bed. Oh my gosh. I try to take most of the stuff off and she just puts it right back on. So I'm going to let her seven year old self do her thing backing up a little bit to get another overview of the room we have her dresser here which is from target and it worked well for a while but i don't know if it's because her clothes are getting bigger but it is just way too small anymore these drawers up here are tiny and these drawers are like they're all just really small for the amount of stuff that she has so might be getting a new dresser soon she has her little easel here. There's a pile of dance clothes that go in this thing because, again, there's nowhere for her dance clothes in the dresser. So they stay in this little bin over here. And then there's another bin of her stuffed animals. This bag is full of notebooks and, like, diaries and stuff. And then on this side is the chalkboard. And then she has recently taken this brown side table from upstairs in the playroom and this is her desk. She wants a desk so bad. So again, I know I said I wasn't going to tell you things, but we are going to be getting her a desk soon. But she's actually not allowed to keep like markers and crayons out because the little kids will draw all over stuff. So she just gets all that stuff out when she wants to, looks out her little window, and her little chair. And then over in this corner is like her music station. She has a karaoke machine, her guitar, a microphone and her little keyboard and she comes over here they all come over here and love making lots of noise and music and stuff so that is Jane's room exactly how she likes it <laughs> and she's just the cutest so this is what her room looks like in February of 2020 right outside Jane's door is the girls bathroom so here's Jane's door and here's the bathroom. And this is about as good as the bathroom is going to get. Um, but it is this light pink color. And then they have their hairbrushes and hair ties and clips and perfume and scrunchies and bows and headbands. So their hair stuff is kind of taking over. And then their toothbrushes. I have no idea what's going on here. But this is their little station. This um, it was a disaster under here. I probably be, will be doing a cleaning video soon of organizing their cabinets because it is really a mess. And then we have the two signs here that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And then just their white curtain. River up, up. He is going to be following me around in this entire video. I guarantee it. And then this is their, or our linen closet for like all of our linens. So we have like Christianized linens girls linens some of Jackson's extra linens and then towels and then more linens <laughs> so this is where we keep all of the extra linens it's huge in there all right on to Piper's room okay so this is Piper's room oh this is our coat closet this just has the kids coats 
and then I don't know why we have so many travel neck pillows. There's a humidifier and then we keep this, which probably needs to go because my nephew doesn't even use it. But I had this here for my niece and my nephew. It's like a little walker thing and then pack and plays for when they stay here. And then here is Piper's room. Again, I'm going to shut the door so River doesn't follow us in here. But here is an overview of Lulu's room. So her room is really small, but she doesn't have much in here. And I feel like that's going to change. And so we might have to make some changes. But here's her cute little room. This, um, she has a little castle here on the floor. And then I was going to say this dresser. I bought for Jane's nursery before she was even born and it's held up really well. I love how big the drawers are here. I'll show you. Um, these drawers are not organized at all, but look how deep the drawers are and they go really far back and they just hold a ton, even though there's only four. So you do have to kind of like organize like here is her, she has bathing suits, snow, snow hats, winter hats, all of her dance clothes and shoes, tights, underwear. So we kind of have socks, like an organizational system because they are so big, but I absolutely love. There is a little bit of paint chipped off on the bottom. So I'm sad about that, but I even changed the handles because this is not what they had, but I changed them out and I love it. And I kind of want to see if they have the same one or something similar for Jackson and Jane's room. I keep catching myself telling you guys things and I just want to show you the rooms. Um, here is where Piper has all of her baby dolls. She has a ton of them. All of their clothes and stuff are stuffed in there. She has like a little doctor kit set as well in there. Uh, most of Piper's toys are actually in this drawer. There's a ton of stuff in there and then she has a ton of stuffed animals. She has the most stuffed animals out of everybody. And then she has her little American Girl doll kitchen and stove set, oven set, and then a little vet set here as well. So this is like her little corner of toys. She has some toys in her closet as well. And then she has this cute little trundle bed. I figured this was the best bed. Do you guys hear that jet outside? That is loud. Um, the best bed for the size of this room and she's loving it so far. She likes to sleep actually on the bottom trundle, but we have some pillows here to make it kind of look like a sitting area slash couch when she's not using it. She has her monogram up here too. And then she has her books. This is like a little makeup slash jewelry box set thing. Her little um, baby pictures. And then on the back of her door, this is from her second birthday. She did a Minnie Mouse theme. This is a little swing that she got for Christmas last year. And she likes to sit in it sometimes. She has one stuffed animal and a pillow in there. Definitely doesn't get as used as I thought, but they love it. So there's the overview of Piper's room. She has these two windows here. Not much on her dresser. This is kind of the way I like it. Oh, and more, the mirror, the gold mirror. Oh, and the banner. I'm actually being terrible at this. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are gold curtain rods. You can't see at all. But that's Piper's room. And now we will head on out. So going upstairs, up here is our playroom and Jackson's room and Jackson's bathroom. I guess River's coming too. It is not the same full size as our downstairs. So our house is two stories, but this is basically it. Just this little area and then Jackson's room. So this is the playroom. We have our big Prince Charming. We love him because we have a um, projector for our movies and the kids love either laying on this comfy couch or our Prince Charming while we watch, watch movies. There's a projector right there. Here's all of our inspirational quotes. We have a dry erase board here and some magnets for the kids. This is a little cubby thing that I got from Ikea. 
and in these it's holding like sewing stuff so none of these are toys in the baskets but obviously down below those are baskets we have pretty much either bins or baskets for each set of toys there's some tools here a tea set i'm not going to show you all their toys but it's pretty organized this little drawer thing is missing two drawers because those two drawers are in Jackson's closet. I've taken away those toys for now. We have our little kitchen here and then the kids dress up. All the rest of their dress up is in this trunk. And then we just have all of our stuff for the projector thing. And then here, this is where the brown table goes. That's actually in Jane's room now. And then my sewing stuff and then our blow up mattresses and then random cords. That's usually behind the couch but the kids have been going behind the couch yeah there's toys and stuff back there but this is our couch that we've had forever it's so comfy but it's getting really old and then like our playstation and stuff like that now going over to jackson's room and his bathroom this is his bathroom nothing too special pretty self-explanatory <laughs> and then his oh here's our little this is where we measure the kids I love this because we can take it with us when we move places instead of doing it on the wall I don't know why River is so out of breath but buddy you're ruining the video so here is Jackson's room nothing much has changed since our last whole house tour we have the map here of where we live and the waters, his little newborn pictures. He did have three, but one broke. We have some flags for the SEC football. This is old though, so some of the teams are missing from the SEC, but Jackson still likes it. We have his duck pictures over here that I got him when he was born. He has a Star Wars flag. These are his bookshelves. He is overflowing with books though. This is like a pile of um, learning to read books like all of the um, like beginner reader books so we just keep those in a pile and then he has some highlights here in a pile these are all of his stuffed animals and then he has some more things hanging here he has a big smash sign and then his dresser is broken we've tried to fix this drawer a few times but we either need to get a new dresser or have somebody try to fix that again. But um, it's hard to see because his dresser is right in front of this window. And it's a very sunny day. We have moved his TP over to this corner. And I like it better because we can actually see all of the books and stuff over here. Um, and he likes going here. River actually loves this little tent. And we've hung up a Gamecock flag that we had in the garage. He still has the two nightstands and a lamp which I kind of want to change out soon. So he might be getting a room makeover soon, but he has this little alligator comforter, some of his stuffed animals, and his little monogram over his bed. And then for Christmas, he got these space planets that are hanging from the ceiling that he loves. And then he's had some of those stickers up there for a while. But that is an overview of Jackson's room. I know you guys have seen these like in the cleaning videos and everything, but I kind of wanted to talk about each spot. So now we can go back downstairs. Okay, so now that you've seen all of the kids' bedrooms and upstairs and all over here, we're gonna walk into the living room area and the kitchen area. We have a little shelf up here that's decorated. And then in here is what we call the craft closet. There's a lot more than just crafts in here. And again, I told you my house is not spick and span. But we have board games here, Jane's um, gymnastics mat or dance mat, some ride-on toys, some Legos, and then here's all of the crafts up in these shelves. This is Piper's room right here, so you can you hear them very loud. And then, oh, behind the door I have my little, um, like wrapping station. I don't know if I've ever shown that before. Okay, so coming out, we have our living room. 
it is showing off to be super blue, but um, our rug that we got at Wayfair, I'm not sure what kind of rug we had in the last home tour. And then over in this weird hole, <laughs> we have our ottoman, the kids' toys are in there. And a little thing, here's our mantle and our TV and our fireplace. We just have like a blue and green kind of theme going on right now. And it kind of ties in with our bar stools and just like the decor that we've already had up. So coming around here is our kitchen. So I like to keep the kitchen pretty minimal. Our trash can is open. We just have, this is um, my nephew's, his little outlet monitor that actually needs to be on. Um, and our sink, and this is kind of, I left this out, normally I put this away, but this is kind of what it looks like all the time. I always am here doing work on my um, computer, my water, and my phone, little charger here. And then a lot of times we have like papers and stuff. I did clean up that just so that it didn't look too crazy here. And this is just what we have in our kitchen right now. And then over here is where we go out to the garage and we also have a little calendar here. And then we have our laundry room, which is kind of a big mess right now. We have some random pillows. This is a pile that needs to go to the dry cleaner. We always have a dirty clothes basket in here as well as all the rooms. We have our Valentine's Day decor that is ready to go up. Piper's therapy boots, some paperwork that I usually keep out on the kitchen counter. And then the dog food is here. And then this is where we keep like extra bags and our mops and vacuums and stuff. Okay, and something new that we got just recently is this little hall tree that I absolutely love. My dad built this. And before it was just empty space. A lot of you guys were like, cause this is our pantry here. A lot of you guys were like, break this wall down and make it a huge pantry, which would have been a great idea. The people that lived here before us had two refrigerators. So they had one here and one here. And then we have just always had Rivers dog food in that area. And it was just a lot of wasted space. This is what it looks like now, and I did want to share our new hall tree. I'll show you guys a little clip of what it looks like without all of our jackets here, and I'm excited because in the winter or in the summertime, we can put like our bathing suits and towels hanging there. And the main thing I wanted was storage for the kids' book bags and lunch boxes. We have Jane's dance bag and everything in here as well. All of that stuff used to hang out in the laundry room, and as you guys saw, the laundry room is already pretty crowded in there. So just with Jane in school, it was already getting a little out of hand. So I thought this would be a perfect solution. And so when all three of them in, are in school, they can come throw their book bags and lunch boxes in there. And it's kind of like out of sight. You're not having to see it because we thought about maybe doing cubbies, but we didn't want to be able to see everything. And so I really love this solution that my dad came up with. And then my sister-in-law's dad is the one that painted it for us. So anyways, that is something brand new in the house that I know that you guys haven't seen and I'm really excited to share it. Okay, so this is the view of the house from the kitchen or better yet, right when you walk in from the garage, this is kind of what you see, which is pretty much where everyone walks in from anyways is the garage. And then going into our dining room, this is what our dining room looks like. Pretty simple. We just have a little home sign here. And then in here is our office, which Chris is working, I think so. Yeah, a little sneak peek of the office. Very messy, lots going on. Hi. And then we have some bookshelves and our Peloton over here. This place needs to be cleaned up as well. Um, and then we just have this little hutch here, which we decorated as well, which I think turned out really cute with the green and blue theme. And then we just walk into this little area that we still don't really know what we want to do in here, but we have our blanket basket and then a little hutch here. We decorated over here as well. This looks a lot different than what we've ever done before. We used to have the, um, this mirror up. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys out here besides the vlogs, but we have a little refrigerator out here. There's our grill and our picnic table, a little bench, 
and then our outside seating and our little screen porch. And that's basically it for out here. There's some golfers. And then this is what it looks like from this view, from the back door looking into the front door. And then we can go look in our bedroom. Nothing has really changed since, oh, let me turn this monitor down because it's gonna be loud. Um, nothing's really ever changed since we did our huge bedroom makeover. So I will leave that linked in the iCard for you guys so that you can like know all the details of the room. But basically this is it. There's our bed, our two side tables that are from Ikea with stuff on them. We have our full length mirror here. Kind of just backing up into a corner. Um, over here, we have a random other TV that we need to figure out what we're doing with. And then our bean bag and just an extra pillow. Sometimes I send the kids in here if they need to have like a little bit of a break. And I might think about taking that upstairs because I actually don't really like that in my room. But there is our TV that's just mounted on this wall and that's basically it for right there. And then our canvas picture. I'm sorry that he has been <laughs> in this entire video, I feel like, but he has some anxiety issues today. This picture that I love, I feel like the kids are growing up so much since we took that picture, but like I said, everything's pretty bare because that's how I like it, but this is an overview. We don't normally open up these blinds because, or curtains, because we don't have blinds and the neighbor's house is there, I'll show you. Like that's their kitchen right there. So we usually just keep this closed. And then in here is our bathroom. And again, same thing. Nothing much has changed in our bathroom since doing our makeover. So I can leave that video as well for you in the iCard. We did get this changed. I think I shared it on a vlog, the new shower door, because our other shower door busted and broke. Hi, you can see me our tub, our frosted window, the painting that I love, our picture I love. In there is our walk-in closet, and guys, I'm not even gonna take you in here. It is a disaster in here. Oh my goodness. That's like a dirty little secret that we'll probably have to make a video of me cleaning soon. Everything else you guys have seen, I guess I can turn on the lights. There we go. Um, we just have a few rugs on the ground, our scale. And that's what the bathroom looks like. All right, out we go. Are you gonna follow me, bud? Wow, the kids are being very loud out here. So that is it for our house tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me, going like room to room, trying to clean the noisy dog. Seriously, guys, he is getting so old and like super anxious. He literally follows me around everywhere and his little collar is loud. He pants a lot um, and the kids were loud. So that's just life here. If um, I'm ever gonna do another house tour with it ever being quiet, it'll probably be in two years when they're all in school or a miracle day where they're all out of the house without me somehow so i don't know how that's gonna happen but i do my best i hope that you guys got an idea of what the house looks like and that you enjoyed it and um, i can't wait to share with you guys all of the updates and ideas and plans that we do have for this home thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next one bye